Welcome to Kasori DIY. My name is Helena and today we are going to show you how to make a cell phone cup. A plastic fabric, it doesn't fray, it's very firm and it will protect your phone in a bag that it doesn't get scratched by keys. We so have these plastic fabrics, three dimensional, this one we're going to call Tiger calls from a tiger to a leopard I believe. This is lava and all these fabrics will be found on kasori.com. You can buy it. We're going to call um, diagonal plaid. Okay, so we're going to make, we need certain supplies. Phone. We need tape measure, pencil, ruler. 18 inch ruler is the best. If you have a 12 inch that's fine. A pair of scissors. Sewing machine with matching thread. So let's when, when making this particular case, we need to know how to measure it. So we have the cell phone here, and I have a guide of what we're going to do. Okay, first we measure the height. I have here four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. I add a half an inch, a quarter inch for seam allowance and quarter inch for the ease. Now for the width, I'm going to measure around the phone, get a little snug but not too tight. I have here five and three quarters, let me get the measurements, if the tape is upside down but it's five and three quarters where my finger is, that's five and three quarters, that's what it measures. I add three quarters of an inch to the width of my measurement. So let's let's look at what I have here. I have a height, the width, the full width. width. To the height I add a half an inch and yeah. my height of the phone was four and three quarters equals five and a quarter. My width, the full width, plus equals the three quarters Plus the five and three quarters equals six. Now that we have all that, we need to transfer these measurements onto the plastic. So I want to make sure that my uh, grain or my cutting line is straight. Now, so I line up the uh, segment of the measuring the ruler here to the edge this plastic and I lightly lightly trace along the line so I'm squaring up this side I want to take off this edge here it's a little bit okay here we go so now the, the width of it again is what did we say the width was six and a half Six and a half. And the reason why it's three quarters is that I found out if I made it an inch, it would be too slack. In other words, the phone would easily come out too quickly. And I don't think we all want that. So, so again, it's six and a half light, and I want to measure five and a quarter for the height. So right now, I'm lining up. The five and a quarter along that first line is scored and I mark a little line here and then do it here at the end to make sure it's plumb as it were and I do another light line here and then I connect my lines here Make sure where it stops. Okay, and I do the height measurement. There we have it. Now we're going to cut it. Keep your scissors down on the table like that. Hold it down and steady but long cuts on the line, nice and straight, that it's nice and even at the top, the 
just cut off the four edges. Now with this half sheet of this plastic, you'll have some more as you can see to maybe do another phone for somebody or a pencil case or eyeglass case of the remaining plastic. You fold it in half lengthwise with the length. You hold it firmly and evenly together. I'm using a size 14 needle on this home sewing machine. And I have on um, this particular senior sewing machine that I have it is set to about three and a half stitch length and correct myself eight to nine stitches per inch so I have been doing a sample and here's what I did so it's one two three four five six seven eight eight stitches or I don't like this that's a good which size to have now again I want to align up my seams. You don't need to pin it and plus it's too hard to pin. As you remember it's a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to do quarter inch seam allowance. So quarter inch seam allowance, how do you gauge that? It's from the needle edge to the side of my needle. Measure from the center of the eye of the needle to the edge is approximately a quarter. That's what I want. So that's the edge of the presser foot is going to be my guide for quarter inch. So again, now if your machine does not come with a back tack button, this is what you do. You, you sew back, then you put up the presser foot Turn it away from you straight so towards you and you have to like pull it a little bit, give it a little bit of pull because it's so firm. It's a bit stuck. And you need to kind of push it through the feeder through the on the press. And you take your time, take your time, let the machine feed it through. And I kind of gauge it by eye that I'm getting close to a quarter inch to the bottom. I pick up my presser foot, turn it, put it down, and it's approximately a quarter. Again, I'm pressing the wand very smoothly, very steadily. I kind of have to force it a little bit and I get my needle right through, right at the side here. So let me lift it up. You see it there? And then I'm going to use my back tack button, which is here on my front here. And I do like three. I lift it up and it's as simple as that and I cut the threads close to the stitching here and what I want to do now is to get rid of the sharp edges here right here so I cut diagonally I'm going to get a little square up here too cover for the phone and here we go. See? Other fabrics. The Kasori.com. And we welcome you back for upcoming episodes of our new DIY site. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. And we welcome you there again and again. Thank you.